Today we're in the Native American Medicinal Garden here at the Cleveland County Extension Office. This garden was established to show some of the medicinal plants that the Cherokee tribe utilized. And today I'm here with Theresa Judici, and she helped establish this garden. Hi, Theresa. Hi. How are you, Tracy? I'm doing good. So tell me a little bit about what we've got going on here. Well, uh, Kathy Whittle, who is a Native American, right. uh, she developed this garden and researched all the plants mm -hmm. and planted them, and we try to keep them growing. Uh, she's placed them strategically around mm -hmm. for the color, mm -hmm. and uh, she has all of them uh, labeled so that when people come to see the garden, they can read what they what the Indians use them for medicinally. Right, and so she kind of got this idea because she's Native American. Yes, she did. Okay. And this garden was actually blessed by yes, Kelly Haney, who's, yes, a, who's the Cherokee chief, I believe. Right. Yeah, so this is super interesting, and these plants you know, go back a ways as far as their medicinal use. So yes. are there any that are super interesting to you that you found? I think the strawberries were kind of interesting to me that those were used medicinally. Right. Uh, <laughs> so. I, it's all just mind boggling to me right. as, as I am a retired nurse and the right. things that they use these for. A lot of them were used for female problems. A lot of them were used for the bladder okay. uh, and kidney. And some of it I can see and some of it I can't. But, right. Um, and they use a lot of them for poultices and teas. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know different how. Parts different parts of the leaves or yes. roots or flowers. Yes. Even yeah. the roses. And I think they used every part of the, the rose. rose hips uh -huh. and the leaves everything and everything. for different so. things. So. And I think this garden, wasn't it professionally designed to look like a dream catcher? Dream catcher. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. And a, she, a dream catcher. She yeah. put the fountain in and then she uh -huh. felt like these, this was added just the last year, I uh -huh. think. And she felt like those looked like feathers. Oh, yeah. So she just yeah. kind of wanted something else. Some that artwork. Would, yeah. Artwork that would attract from the fence and when the wind's blowing, which it usually is in Oklahoma, right. yeah. uh, it really looks neat. It has some nice movement, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a great garden. It gets a lot of attention during our garden tours. Yes, it does. Um, everybody really likes it. It's, the bubbler makes it very calming. Yeah. Um, but it's really interesting to kind of walk around and go, gosh, I can't believe that the Native Americans actually used these plants and, and way back it, when. And did it really work? <laughs> and did it work? Or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, hopefully it did, because that's did. all they had. Yeah, right, it is. So, yeah. yeah. And so some of the pots are really interesting as well. Are there certain plants that you have in the pots that don't do well maybe in the ground? Well, or? Uh, I, th I don't know so much. I know rosemary, of course, and lavender right. and the basil. You've got some I basil. plant those. Yeah. They do well in the ground, but I uh -huh. think she got these pots. Uh, from they were donated the, from They a were donated from a master member. gardener right. that has, has recently passed. Recently passed. Right. And so right. she wanted to use those. These you kind of have to watch a little carefully. Yeah, that's because, why we've got the drip hose right, kind of set irrigation. up to go specific right. to each pot right. so they stay nice and hydrated, especially when yes. it's 102. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. yes, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So the bubbler, does it function on just a reservoir? It has, uh, yes, it has two reservoirs, uh, one uh, up in the pump and then one down in the okay. ground. Okay. And uh, and then, you know, you just have to keep it filled. But it, it uh, we plug it up yeah. when people are going to be here. We right. It plugged up all the time. But right. It's a nice feature because at the fairground, sometimes we can have a little background noise. Yes. And so that water trickling yeah. kind of helps with the serenity of the garden right. and kind I of think... being able to enjoy it and, yeah. and take your time yeah. and... and yeah. I think it makes it very calming and relaxing, which right. I think is the whole purpose of this garden. Right, so. right. Yeah. And it's really interesting that you've got this inner circle of the garden and then you've got the outer, outer circle, circle, so you can kind of choose which path you would like to take. Right. Um, it's a little bit elevated, so you kind of feel like you're a little bit immersed in the garden. Right. So right. it's a nice touch to our Master Gardener demonstration uh, I garden. It, I think it's just wonderful. Yeah. I'm just... Uh, Pleased that I can be a part of it and help right. Kathy with her garden. Yeah, it turned out really well. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.